This is a wall roll down. This can be really tricky, not only because it's advanced, but because if we're in that more anteriorly tilted presentation, it's hard for us even to get our legs overhead because we need to be able to posteriorly orient the pelvis and kind of bring our legs underneath us, enough posterior expansion. So if you're stuck in that more forward presentation, this will be really tricky. I'm gonna show you a prop to help with that. So in this roll down position, I'm going to use this exercise to also facilitate some nice expansion on the backside. So my arms are reaching overhead only to a point in which I can control any type of rib flare. You can even elevate the head, which I sometimes do on a towel or a pillow. And ultimately, I'm going to think about inhaling and bringing my legs above me. Now, this might be really tricky, once again, if you're in more of that anteriorly tilted presentation. You can hold up the wall and drag the heels and the hands up the wall. You can hold kind of a bench or something behind you. I'm going to inhale in this position. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Every inhale, exhale, lower a little bit more. You can go this, do this for a number of breaths, and then you can even start again. Inhale, overhead, breathe here. This might feel really good, even breathing in this position. Getting some expansion in the lower part of the back, and Pelvis, exhale, lower. Only taking the legs to a depth you can control. Once I kind of get beyond here, I can't help but want a rib flare. So that's, I'm losing that core connection at that point and that's where I stop. If you're having trouble, you can take the wedge, kind of place it slanted down, kind of almost bringing my pelvis into that posterior tilt presentation, keeping the heels of the hands up. And I can do the same thing. And then, and I reach a point where maybe my pelvis wants to dump forward and I have that wedge kind of helping me maintain that position.